Hi, I'm Emily Ward and I'm a Stay for H Healthy Living Ambassador from Mays County and today we're going to be making homemade salsa. So the equipment you will need is either a blender or a food processor or you can use a knife for a chunkier consistency but it will take longer. So the ingredients you will need is one 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes, two 10 ounce cans of uh, Rotel, which is diced tomatoes with green chilies, then half a cup of fresh cilantro, a fourth of a cup of white onion chopped, a whole jalapeno uh, quartered with the membrane and the seeds. Um, but you can take out some of the seeds if you don't like your salsa too spicy. A whole garlic clove mince, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin and the juice of half of a whole lime. So I just got done washing my hands a few minutes ago and now since I'm using a blender, I'll have to make my salsa in a couple batches. So what I'm gonna do is take about half of each ingredient and pour it into the blender. about half of the lemon juice and then save the other half for the next batch. Lime, not lemon. But for all my spices, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the whole measurement and not try and make it harder on myself. So I actually had the chance to do food from 4-H in the summer, and this was one of my favorite recipes I got to make. Now you wanna be careful when you're dealing with jalapenos because the residue that the jalapeno leaves will like stay on your hands. So at, that's why I'm like not touching it. So after you touch a jalapeno, make sure you wash your hands really, really good or else you'll have like jalapeno juice on you for a while. So now I'm just gonna put the lid of the blender on so that it doesn't go everywhere. And I'm gonna pulse it for like 10 to 15 times just till I get the consistency that I want. That looks good. So now, since I'm mixing the two batches, I'm going to put it in a, like a safe store container with a lid because at the end of the recipe, you'll want to make, you'll want to cool your salsa an hour before you serve it. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing again. So after you get done blending your second batch, you're just going to want to dump it in the same container as your first one. And then you're just going to mix it with a spoon. So then after that's all mixed, you're, wanna go, you're gonna wanna take a tortilla chip and try a little bit to make sure that you don't need to add any more salt or cumin or sugar. And mine's perfect. So then I'm gonna put the lid on and set it in the refrigerator for an hour before I serve it. Thanks for watching.